All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching You, episode four. Now, in the last episode, Guinevere, Beck, Beck deleted Tinder, so it's a step up for Joe. Um, she's given him a chance, I guess, so I'm excited to see where things go. I have absolutely no faith in this, not at all. So, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon, as well early access to the next two episodes of You will also be available on Patreon, so, Let's get started. He OD'd, and you were the one that found him. You oh yeah, and this fool finally smashed, but he's a two-pump chomp. He nutted so quick, he literally couldn't even have gotten AIDS. Did you just? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's see how he let's see how he uh, plays this one off. Did you just? Sorry, you're just so hot. The classic line, you know. What was that? Eight seconds? <laughs> say, let's order food, move past it. Yeah, just move past it. Short memory. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I gotta go. Hey, hon, looking forward to this weekend. Hey. Who the fuck is the captain? Idiot. Why did you tell him you were available this weekend? Why don't you right. think? The captain calls, you answer, you know how this works. Who the fuck is that? He paid for the bed you just got laid on. Oh no, <gasps> this is her sugar daddy, dog. I knew she had a fucking sugar daddy. And Oh, he can see it, yeah. Oh, I feel like shit, dude. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Shit, mm. Joe, probably thinks you're hiding in here. Yeah, Captain Saint, five, yep, sent $500. Oh God. Love you. Then just words back. Yeah, she's not into the captain, dude, but she just needs his money. Yeah, tell him what he wants to hear. Yeah, Vin Joe saw that too. Mmm. Jeff? Oh, Beck. You're a disaster. Uh, I like how she's narrating now. Like we can see what she's thinking. Joe. Oh. If you're gonna act like a whore, may as well look like one. Is he big? Is he big? <laughs> Proud loaf emoji question mark. Is he worth it? There we go. Good question. Is he? You know a good dick if you hit her over the head with it. <laughs> like it doesn't happen to tons of guys. I mean, Benji used to nod off while going down on me. He's dead to me. I'm just merely using him. Damn, that's pretty selfless of Benji, not gonna lie. Bex, love yourself. Ghost him already. Oh. Are you saying I don't have bed bugs? I didn't find a one. <laughs> Would you like to see the 22 bites on my ass? Don't answer that. They're there. Go find them. Go find them. Dude, she's such a bitch. I'm booking a room with a Mandarin Oriental and you're coming. Find that brilliant badass inside of you and believe in her. I know I do. Literally the most supportive she's ever been about your writing and you're lying to her face. You are the worst friend. No, Beck. I, th I think she did. No. You could just leave. You could, you know, cut the cord, take off the yoke. Bon voyage, Captain. <laughs> the way she's just standing there. Okay, so I guess this episode's about Beck, which is pretty cool. Get to learn more about her then and like her perspective. He is always late and you're frustrated. Plus, after last night, you're owed one. Like Joe, Joe did sell pretty hard last night. He sold hella hard. Who Has is he it? Been is this working him? out? Is this him? Oh, Joe is here. Oh my god. Of course. Why, why did I think he wouldn't be here? Exactly. Okay. How did I not think Joe wouldn't be here? Okay. I'm honestly like not mad at Beck for doing this because I, I, I get it. But from Joe's perspective, it is oh, he's so pissed. He's so bad. You should be screaming my name right now. <laughs> Nails into my back. Get you off. But you fumbled. Bleeding and you definitely did not get off. <laughs> no. You don't even know what to say, do you? No. Nope. You must be mortified. All right, so now we're rewinding, going back to just perspective. Oh, seriously. You're already telling whoever that is. Mr. Quick Draw, the Minute Man. <laughs> One pump jump. The captain. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? Obviously, you don't love him. Love ya. <laughs> Yeah, but from her perspective, she was like, hey, they're just words, do what you gotta do, and you know. Love ya. Love ya. 
Of course, he's gonna take this insanely serious and personal. And look what had to happen to him. Oh my god. <laughs> Just when I think we're getting somewhere. You never said I love you to Benji. Look what had that look what had to happen to him. Oh, oh my god. I can't wait to see what he does. Back. Go on. Listen to your gut. Joe's the one. Yes, worth it. Okay, one more shot. Okay. Okay. Outfit. Are you kidding me? Just got it. Hope you like. Oh, okay. Oh my god, five hundred. Oh my god. Spent four hundred seventy-eight dollars on an outfit. Christoph's party, Montauk tonight. You in? Can't. Got to write. You even lie to your friends about this guy. What the hell? Yeah. Well, Joe, he sent her five hundred dollars. It's pretty obvious what it is. He's holding a master class tonight. Wasn't a question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have an appointment out of town. Yeah, tell him, Joe. Yeah, talk to Beck like that, dog. She'll, if you talk to Beck like that, she'll literally come. How old is he? Bro, he's probably like 65. Stop it. So good to see you, hon. Yeah, you too, dad. <laughs> it's dad. not her dad. It's not her real dad. That, it's a fetish, like, you know? Like, daddy. There's no way that's her fucking dad. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. I really think you'd love it up there, honey. Yeah, um... Wait. <laughs> honey. I mean, you could call someone you like, honey, but that sounds more like a dad to a daughter, actually. But I'll totally check, and I'll let you know as soon as possible. Okay, she's talking to him like he's her dad. There's no fucking way. Oh. What? Is it too much for a Dickens festival? It's just some people may find it, you know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I thought she was about to buy like a fuck ton of lingerie for him or something, you know? Okay, so yeah, this actually might be her dad. Then. Why is he your secret, Beck? Yeah. Then why is he in the? Why is he in your phone as the captain? That's what made me. That's what made me think she, that was a sugar daddy too. How's your mom? Um. Okay. Yeah. This is a bad. Okay. Anxiety, low self-esteem, on antidepressants, dating men so safe and boring. She must want to scream, but don't. Ooh, dating men so safe and boring. She wants to scream. That's AKA Joe. Unless she know. Unless dude. Unless she like catches Joe. I don't know. Like the version of Joe has showed her is the definition of safe and boring. That's why she's like. That's why he's not a priority. Back. You're such an asshole. Love me, daddy. I'm gonna be a writer, daddy. God, just... Mm. She, she's blaming herself a lot. Pretty. Stop hating them. They're just kids. How are you? What, is that like stepmom? Yes. Not necessarily you in it, but... Brought you Dude, she's so judgmental, dog. Ain't it? Chill. You really are... <laughs> War, by my count. Oh my god. Who the hell are you, Beck? Yeah, Beck. Oh, oh she. There's no way she did not just see him. The captain, aka Edward Martin Beck. Okay. The addict part was true, I see, but he never died. It was there. He not only conquered his demons, but also met church rep and divorcee Nancy Whitesell, aka the Christian News' mommy blogger of the year. If Ned can do it, so can you the perfect family if your stepmother is to be believed but what about you that's why she doesn't like him because she feels replaced by the stepmom and her kids to her dad and abandoned you're barking up the wrong tree lady if you think i'm gonna sit here and validate that man yeah Oof. Uh, okay so it sounds like she yeah she doesn't like her dad because of that she did not just suggest if you were more christian he wouldn't have abandoned you for a crack pot. oh Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Well, he's supposed to tell you he can't send money anymore. Oh, why is that? But he's gonna help you find a better job first. Oh, no, the fuck he's not. Wasn't supposed to tell you, but she's pregnant. Oh! Great. It's great. He's starting a new family. Fixing the one he had obviously wasn't an option. Damn. Why would he ever do that? Ugh. Okay, this, this, everything makes a lot more sense now. Oh, Peach is at the bookstore. 
Where's Joe? Oh, he had to leave early. Is Joe Goldberg working today? Joe mm. Goldberg is not. I'm Ethan, and you would be... Looking for Joe. Expect him anytime soon? I do not. Uh, relatively speaking, Joe's out of town. Mm. That pedigree we keep under lock and key downstairs. And you don't have the key? She's gonna demand to see it. Right now. Uh, Joe left with it, he just forgot to give it to me. And where is Joe? Mm. Mm. I thought I was supposed to be writing. Are you with eight seconds? Oh. I'm on a retreat. Is he with you? Are you with eight seconds? That's fucked up. Hey, bro. Uh, I know you didn't want to be interrupted, but uh, this chick was just in asking about a first ad, Osmo of Oz. There. Naya. You told her I'm here? I'm sorry, man. Did I screw up or? You'll know Wait, Joe didn't tell Ethan where he went. He just said I'm out of <gasps> Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Uh, no, just ah. Uh, I mean, fuck. Now, yeah, now she's looking for Joe. Fuck. Oh, is that him? Joe. Oh my. What are you doing here? Uh, oh yeah. I mean, she knows he's here. He has to. He has to. It's like, oh my god, you like doing this too? Oh my god myself like this annually <laughs> i knew you were here i wasn't happy with how we left things and apparently neither were you so okay we can at least agree that i may have left you a little wanting <laughs> so you're saying you did want it to last longer than eight seconds no i mean yeah as a wait i thought it was a race <laughs> oh my god when oh uh, okay he's playing it off okay what was it the best well like okay. and not leave you with that memory of me for for too long Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she's gonna flex him. She's gonna flex him to everyone. To the stepmom and everything. Make them pissed off. Is this handsome gentleman? You're welcome to join us for dinner, Joe. Yes, totally, if you can. I, I, I'd love to. We'll see you then. Okay, uh, I can explain. Unconscious mm -hmm. with a needle in his arm. I thought he was dead. I'm so sorry. You had to go through that. I mean, he survived an amazing thing. So when he disappeared on us because he relapsed, I just, right then and there, I decided he was dead. Damn. <sighs> totally wrong. I mean, who does that? After everything you've been through, I get it. I'm sorry. I was at Brown, and he tracked me down to say he had gone clean. Mm -hmm. And then he says he wants to help with my school and some of my bills, like Dad amends. Yep, because he feels bad. Playing the dutiful daughter. Trying to fulfill the rest of the childhood she didn't get to have, because he left. You remember it, right? I mean, it was pouring. I learned every- mm, Bex trying to flex all the good memories she had with him on this family. I don't think he remembers, dear. I think he can oh. speak for himself, Nancy. Uh, uh, uh. No, you don't, you don't have to protect him, okay? He's, he's not a child. What you about that? <gasps> you invest nothing in this family. Nothing. Oh my god. Called your father on his birthday. You know what? Bro, Stop. He abandoned me. Because your father, he's just an ATM to you, right? Oh, oh. Please, let's right? not do okay. this. I'm sorry. And what is he to you? A blog so you can brag how you lifted him out of the pits of despair? News. Mm, yep, yep. When you met him, I was in the pits with him, and not <sighs> because I wasn't Christian enough. Let it out, Beck. Let it. Yes. Let it out. Oh. Enough. The hell are you looking at? One of you. Do not <clears throat> daughter that way. Okay, whatever. Fuck your daughter. Congrats on the baby. How blessed you all are. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, Joe. <laughs> she just dropped a nuke on them. Do you want him dead? Sometimes. I want that bitch dead. Bro, he's gonna kill him for her. Nothing. Do you hear know. yourself right now? I mean, who the hell are you to tell me that I have daddy issues? Oh! You don't even know me. Okay. Oh, oh. Leave me alone, I'm serious. No! Fuck. He was just trying to like relate to her and make her feel better. No. Fuck. It's because he was trying to be all logical and shit. We're gonna get going. I should cover the room. I don't want it. It's hard for me to see you with them. I keep waiting for you to be you again. This is me. Mm -hmm. You didn't see what was going on. Yes, 
And you were more than just an addict. I miss you. Aw. You know, I tell people that you're dead. Kind of feels like you did die that day in the basement. Oof. Maybe you can tell me about it sometime. Over mm. Christmas. Mm. <laughs> no. Like I said, I'll have to let you know. Oof. Christmas is actually in five days in IRL, guys. The beached whale, the silent walk home. The woman at the drugstore you hit on who isn't mom. Just wrote the ladle twice. Chills. There for it. Well, she finally wrote something that's good. She got that deep inspiration, you know? She dug deep with that one. I'm sorry. They say girls with daddy issues are really good in bed. <laughs> Time for round two. Joe, take some blue chew right now. Right now. Or I have an idea. Don't try and put your dick in in the first 10 seconds. Mm. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Fuck. Fuck all her shit. Oh, pff, yeah, don't fucking look over there. <laughs> Dude, that's all her shit. Oh my god. Dude, just literally kiss her so she can't look around all the way to the bedroom. Throw her ass on the bed. And then run out and just fuck. Oh, I mean, you could do that too. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that was close. Goldberg. Not at all. Watch this. <laughs> there we go, Joe. Oh, phone. He's no Oh, how long did he last? What happened? You drool in your sleep. So cute. Were you watching me? Maybe. You're a weirdo, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh uh. Stalker. <laughs> Learn from the best. <laughs> She has no idea what she just said. How, how did you figure out where I live? Yeah. The bearded guy from the bookstore. Wow, he sold me. I mean, that was a good thing, actually. If this happened, that he didn't told you because it never would have happened. I have to apologize about our talk. All is forgiven, my love. A hostile goose. Yeah, geese are total dicks. You are a silly goose. You were totally right, and I didn't want to hear it, and I'm sorry. Mm. For me to be commenting on your relationship with your father. Mm, you were just trying mm -hmm. to help me see that. But then there is you. I mean, you're not trying you're to perfect. be anything than what you are. You're just you. There's not an ounce of falseness in you. I mean, <laughs> starch, and mm. I kind of, you don't care about dumb shit like posting your life online. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> a revelation. Redeemed myself. Okay, okay, she's just texting the group chat. Let's go. Even if not, all Enjoy it while it lasts. Fuck, dude, Peach. Peach is full of hatred, bro. She hates herself. Really too bad. The one whose approval you crave most isn't my biggest fan. Yeah, it's Peach, huh? Oh, where is he going? Where is he going? You put the hat on. If Peach still has a problem, I won't let her get in the way of us, Beck. Okay, he returned it, okay. Wow, good guy Joe, wow. All right, well that was episode four of You. All right, so that was episode four of You. We got to learn a lot more about Beck and her past in this episode. We got, so her dad's not actually dead. <sighs> they just didn't talk for a while, then he came back in her life. He abandoned her, so she basically, she built up so much resentment for him that in her head, he was dead. Like mentally, she just accepted that he was dead because it would be easier to move on that way. But then he came back in her life and you know, they were trying to kind of make amends, you know, kind of, he kind of started like buying her stuff to kind of, you know, make up for the fact or whatever. But then felt a little bit like abandoned that he had a new family and everything like that because it made her feel like, well, why couldn't he love me the same way? You know, like that. So like that, that's really sad actually. That's like really damn sad. Like honestly, her stepmom is a bitch. I hate her. I don't know. Okay, the show definitely made it seem like that was just a sugar daddy. 
in the beginning, but like, yeah, they're gonna, so they could drop that twist on us, which it was a good twist, good twist. But yeah, it seems like Peach really doesn't want them to work out. Like she's really, I feel like Peach sees that Beck is happy with Joe and she's like, no. It, no, it should have happened to me. I don't care if Beck's happy. It should have happened to me. That's kind of the attitude Peach Loki has. So I feel like Peach is going to try and like sabotage her. Like she, she kept trying to tell Peach to just ghost him already, you know? Oh, you need the ghost eight seconds, you know? <sighs> Obviously, Peach wants what she has, but she will never get it. So I don't know. Like a part of me kind of hopes Peach catches Joe because I feel like that'd be really good. I feel like it's going to get really spicy if that happens. So... I'm kind of rooting for that, not just for the sake of the show, not gonna lie. But yeah, and it seems like Beck finally wrote something good. Her mentor, Blythe, kind of was like, oh my god, I can't, like, this was so good. Like, she got the text from her, so good for Peach. We had to trigger some trauma for her to write that well, but you know, at least she did, at least she made something productive out of it, so. But yeah, then Joe, he redeemed himself for what happened in the last episode at the end of this one. I don't know, how, it didn't say how long he lasted, but I'm gonna say this one was probably a good 16 seconds. I'm kidding, he probably lasted like 20, 20 minutes maybe. Yeah, and so Beck is falling for Joe even harder now. Okay, let's hope. I like I like the path run, okay? I feel like we don't need any more ups, we don't need any more downs, we just need it to be, just be like this. That's all we need. But for the sake of the show, some shit's gonna happen and I, and I can't wait. So, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. Comment down below if you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.